All right, another tier list. Uh, this one's about the Harry Potter franchise and like how I'd rate the movies, like from you know top to bottom. Um, D is just you know the lowest rating. S is the highest rating. And I've seen pretty much all the films, you know. And honestly, what I can establish right now is, honestly, the Harry Potter ring films will be higher than the, uh, the, the prequel movies. I, I've seen Fantastic Beasts, and I thought it was, eh. And uh, I've heard plenty about the crimes against Grindelwald, and uh, I, I don't think that... People thought it was a solid film, The Crimes of Grindelwald. But honestly, at some point I want to see that for myself, but the rating on it isn't very good. So, But honestly, the original Harry Potter series will be between, uh, I'm going to have to say, okay, superb to okay. Pretty much is how I'm going to rate the Harry Potter films. And then the C is just eh. And D is just terrible. So that's where these two go. Alright. Superb. The first Harry Potter film. When I first saw it, I had the films on VHS. I was that into the films. It was ridiculous. I, I'd rewind the VHS tape and just rewatch and rewatch and rewatch. I had uh, the VHS tape version of Harry Potter up to, I think, about the third movie third movie I had the VHS's. Then I transferred DVD once uh, Goblet of Fire came around and then Blu-ray recently. And honestly it's just a it's a great it's a great saga, honestly. Uh, and the first Harry Potter movie, Sorcerer's Stone, um, I gotta say it's very entertaining. Good introduction to the characters. And I'm all for it. Oh this isn't Sorcerer's Stone. This one's the Sorcerer's Stone. My mistake. <laughs> I looked at that one's like, gosh darn. That's the Sorcerer's Stone. My mess up. And I felt like the sequel was just as good. I felt like the sequel's like enjoyable. Very enjoyable. Uh, that's this one. This one's a sequel. Uh, this one is uh, Chamber of Secrets. Yeah. I like the whole idea of um, Tom Riddle being Voldemort. I like that. That's it's pretty neat. Quite a nice twist into the film. Actually, it's not really a twist. It's, yeah, kind of is. Yes, that was the twist of the second film. Looking back, it's very good. And uh, on the top of the superb list, you know, uh, out of these three movies, one I've rewatched and rewatched over again is The Prisoner of Azkaban because I love time travel movies. I'm one of those people who's like, Back to the Future, yes. <laughs> so, I, I, I like time travel movies. Movies that can repeat something but do it from a different angle. That's, that's what I really liked about The Prisoner of Azkaban. And then we get to, like, the the next level here of the movies and I thought like the ending was really good you know I, I like the ending to the film I thought it was pretty good very well done um, I thought part one was a little bit a little bit boring None, there wasn't enough elements in part one. It, part one was just a build up for part two. That's all it was. And when part two comes along, it just is like, yes. You know? And I feel like in the okay category, we got these, these ones here. I thought this one really just didn't really have a lot of interesting elements. And I thought the um, Goblet of Fire was okay. But for me, the tournaments were just, eh, you know, just, eh. And I felt like, uh, also, well, actually, I actually think the Order of the Phoenix goes up here. Because I really enjoyed the Order of the Phoenix, the way it gets the groups grouped together, and their main focus is, 
creating a crew to fight Voldemort's crew. So yeah, this is my ranking on the Harry Potter films. I'm a big fan of it, but obviously everybody's very diverse in, in their thought process. There's no right answer for, you know, where you'd rank it, you know. It's just all opinion. <sighs> so, yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, feel free to subscribe and uh, have a great day.